Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hey, take a second and click subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. If you are, thank you very much. Today I'm here with Monty Scheinbloom again, one of a uh, uh, friend of mine and a favorite guest of ours. How is the driver different from every other club? Driver's the only club in the bag where it's up there like this, right. especially you know, this is this has been a big deal, and, and I, ma I made this complaint, so to speak, you know, 15 years ago, when they started making the driver he driver heads bigger. Yeah. I start I got crooked, yeah. because all of a sudden that big driver head mentally made me do different things. I was on staff with Titleist, and they had just come out with the J model, okay, okay. which was the first, you know, oversized driver and it was probably 300 cc's you know so yeah. it's still pretty small and after hitting yeah. that oversized driver for a half an hour 45 minutes and adjusting my feels and my vision to the bigger head i pulled out the new three wood and i topped four in a row yeah so you know the big heads have changed the dynamic you know you, it's hard to hit them off the ground well it's not hard it's stupid to try and hit them off the ground yeah. because you know the sweet spots all the way up there and obviously yeah. if the ball's on the ground you're not going to hit it <laughs> right so monty you which year monty won the world long drive championship in which year uh, 1992. Tell me about the one shot that you hit that won the World Long Drive for you in 1992. Yeah. Do you remember even to this day what you were feeling? Um, yeah, I, I have a vivid memory. Uh, my swing thought in those days, this, yeah. you'll find this funny, was to hang back as much as possible and dump my right wrist angle from the top. You were on to something, even yes. back then. Even back it's then. funny. Okay. And then you probably talked to instructors after that point that told you, oh, you don't want to do that. Right, exactly. Right. So. Today is 2015. Do you still have anything in the tank to make it go long? Yeah, I have all this right here. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll definitely make it go even hey, further. Hey, you know what? Yeah. If you're supposed to lead with the body and the torso, look at all this inertia I have, you know, helping me out. I know that when I watch YouTube, uh, I usually hate videos where all it is is talking. So let's see you hit some drives and, and tell us what you're feeling right. as, as you're doing right. it. And he, here's the funny part, is on film, a 350, 40 yard bomb is going to look exactly the same as when I wince and hit a little bit of a hook or a block fade. Because on, you're not going to see that it was a no. quarter inch of better. I mean, uh, s seriously, I mean, yeah. if I hit a ball right there, that, I mean, the, the flight scope showed it. I was carrying them 320 to 330, okay? If I hit one right there, that ball's gonna like flare off to the right 20 yards and only carry 290 or 280. Yeah. So, so it's, you know. Well, let's, let's give it a go. We have the, flights, uh, the flight scope going here. Okay, yeah, actually, let me turn it on. Oh, okay. All right, so here's the time machine. We're gonna try to smooth swing. Even with me talking during it. Oh, that doesn't bother me. As long as you don't hit me with something, I'm good. So, you know. Well, that was a smooth swing, but to me, I think that went pretty far because it was, you hit it right in the You know, 123 place. miles an hour. That's like a 98% swing. I'm 48 yeah. and I'm out of shape. Yeah. So some days are better than others. My body produces better. Right. Like um, yesterday, I was killing it. Yesterday, the smooth swing mm -hmm. was 123 to 125 miles an hour. Three days ago, you know, I had a guy who wanted me to hit a few. I got loose really fast, and I couldn't get it over 118. Let me ask you this. If somebody had a briefcase of $10,000 for you. Yes. And said that in three months, I'm going to bring a track man out here, and I want to see a 135 mile an hour swing from you. And you have three months to get ready for it. What would you do in that three months? Or would you just say, forget it, I can't do it? 135 is probably my outermost limit right now. Well, it's a lot of money. When I was training for the Remax two years ago, right now I'm at 225, yeah. I got down to 200, okay. and I was starting to get a few cuts in my muscles up here, yeah. and I was in great shape, and I was, I was maxing out at like 133 or 134. The TPI stuff is great. Yeah. Getting stronger here, getting stronger here is huge, yeah. okay? <laughs> but there is no substitute. Zero, zero substitute for going out to the range, swinging as hard as you can on every swing, and learning what you have to do to swing that hard and get it in the middle of the club face. There's no substitute for that. You can go to eBay and buy a little device, it's an SSR, okay? There, there's other ones, ES12, little launch monitors that are like this big. They cost like a hundred bucks, all right? They're not accurate. 
okay? They, most of them read really, really fast. They're not accurate, but they're consistent. So you go get one of these $100 or $150 monitors, put it down in front of you, and even though those things read up to 10 miles an hour fast, if you it will tell you if, if one's faster than another. Absolutely. Relative to itself. Okay, yeah. and people that do that, people that hit in front of my flight scope are flabbergasted at what a faster swing is. That was a good one. Yeah, that was pretty good. That that is getting out of here fast and okay. staying in the air. Well let's let's take a look. Yeah. So it, so that that one was 126 miles an hour of club head speed. Yes. And it threw, it flew in the, stayed in the air for how long? Number, it was, I think it was like 336, 34, something okay, like that. So he, here's, here's the funny thing though, yeah. is when you're hitting range balls, you have to be careful. Is these things don't, aren't full flight, no. you know? And I hit 126 miles an hour, and if you do the math, 149 is a solid hit. So one and a half times, you know, 126. That right. should theoretically be 189 miles an hour ball speed. Right. But that one was probably only 181 or 182, yeah. even though I crushed it. You yeah. know. So when you're hitting range well, balls, you can, on, you can see. I mean, the 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 mark that Monty's leaving is right in the sweet spot. Yeah. Next time on the show, we're gonna work on me because I think my problems are really gonna help out everyone who's watching this. We're gonna get my driver swing markedly better. All right, thanks Monty. You got it.